Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the 16th lecture of this number theory series. And in this lecture, we are going to start studying about Euler's torsion function. So before I start the lecture, I want to say is that if you have any doubt or query, instead of posting that in comments uh, in YouTube video, uh, you can post it here on the Code Chef Discuss. Uh, article that I've created for this course the reason is uh, since I have too many videos on my channel like roughly 180 so each time when I get a new comment uh, YouTube doesn't send me the notification of every single comment so it, for me it is not always possible to go and check out the comment and answer accordingly but if you post any uh, your any doubt or query here so what will happen uh, there are many other people on discuss.codechef.com which can help you and there are more people like you which are studying from this course so they are they are also following uh, this course so they will be also there if you have any query maybe they can sort it out otherwise if you if you will uh, of course comment here so I'll get the notification so uh, it's better if you uh, post your queries or doubts here if you want to create a different uh, post on discuss.com I mean on discuss.coreshare.com that is completely okay as well so uh, just make sure you ask here on discuss.coreshare.com so that most of the people uh, if I'm not able to answer there are other people as well uh, other people as well who can help you so this was what I wanted to say and now let's continue our lecture so the question is what is Euler's torsion function so Euler's torsion function counts the number of positive numbers num po number of positive integers up to n which are co prime to n so Euler's torsion function is also represented by phi of n so phi of n is equals to number of positive integers up to n which are co prime with n co prime are those number whose gcd with n is 1 basically co primes are th those number which do not share any uh, prime divisor so if two numbers have gcd 1 which means they do not share any uh, do not share any prime divisor so phi of n is the total number of integers from 1 to n uh, count of the total number of integers which are uh, from 1 to n which are co prime with n so if we take some of the example we see uh, 5 of 5 is equal to 4 because there are 4 numbers from 1 to 5 which are co prime with 5 and the numbers are 1 2 3 and 4 since GCD of 1 5 is 1 2 5 is 1 3 5 is 1 and 4 5 is 1 but 5 5 is 5 of course so these 4 numbers 1 2 3 and 4 are the numbers which are having GCD 1 with number 5 that is why 5 of 5 is equal to 4 because there are 4 numbers which are co prime with 5 phi of 10 is also 4 and we see the numbers are 1 3 7 and 9 so there are four numbers from 1 to 10 which are co prime with number 10 if we apply the noise approach this uh, can be solved very easily phi of n is the function which returns the total num uh, which returns etf of n now uh, to solve this problem you can what you can do is simply initialize the count with 0 run a loop from 1 to n and then calculate GCD of i with n if it is 1 increment the count simply return uh, GCD is a function which takes two argument uh, it is user defined GCD is a function which which returns GCD greatest common divisor of two integers so this is the basic or noise approach now for you guys the task is calculate the time complexity of this approach well the time complexity you can pause the video and calculate the the time complexity of this approach since we are running a loop till n so n times and each time we are performing this operation so gcd calculating gcd of two integers if you are using a uh, euclid division algorithm then gcd uh, is calculated in log n time so the overall complexity would be n log n to calculate phi of n using this approach now primes and torsion function the, the relation between torsion function is prime and prime is very special as you can see here you see phi of 2 is equals to 1 
phi of 3 is equals to 2, phi of 5 is equals to 4, phi of 7 is equals to 6 and phi of, phi of 11 is equals to 10. Similarly for the rest of them. So what you can observe here is that if you see phi of p where p is a prime number is equals to p minus 1. And this is not very uh, difficult to observe that yeah every single number from 1 to p minus 1 is co-prime with p where p is a prime number so take an example of 13 every single number you take from 1 to 12 is actually co-prime co to 13 reason uh, if any number is not co-prime with 13 it must have 13 in its prime factorization since every single number is smaller than 13 then in its prime factorization it can never have 13 so all of the number from 1 to p minus 1 are actually co-prime with p that is why phi of p where p is a prime number is equals to p minus 1 now what about p raised to power some x non-negative integer what if we want to calculate phi of p raised to the power x where x is some positive integer so x is greater than or equal to 1 so we see example if if we see example so this is an example of 2 raised to the power 5 2 raised to the power 5 is 32 and 5 of 32 is actually 16 so maybe it is half of the original number but there are uh, apart from uh, except 2 all of the prime number are actually odd odd integers so power of any odd number is odd so of course p raised to power x for every single prime except 2 is going to be odd so this is uh, this cannot be true for every single prime that okay 5 of 2 raised to power, p raised to power x is equals to p raised to power x divided by 2 if we take an example of 3 raised to power 5 we see the phi of 3 raised to power 5 is equals to 162 which is not half of course to calculate phi of p raised to the power x what we can do since each number from 1 to p raised to the power x we have to run a loop and check whether it is co-prime with p raised to the power x or not so all the number from 1 to p raised to the power x can be either co-prime with p raised to the power x or will not be co-prime with p raised to the power x so here it is p raised to the power x so the number of uh, what we can do so we can calculate p, phi of p raised to the power x as p raised to the power x which is uh, the total number of elements from 1 to p raised to the power x minus we can subtract or remove all of the number which are not co-prime with p raised to the power x so uh, to calculate this we can use this formula so how many number from 1 to p raised to the power x are not co-prime with p raised to the power x so you see uh, if we take a small example like 2 raised to the power 3 for example so 2 raised to the power 3 means 8 how many number from 1 to 8 are there which are not co-prime with 8 uh, if you see there are only 4 which are 2 4 6 and 8 why is that so? In all of the uh, numbers 2, 4, 6 and 8, the prime factorization of all of these numbers contains prime 2. If any number which contains, uh, uh, whose prime factorization contains prime p, then it can never be uh, co-prime with p raised to the power x. Suppose there is number x, sorry, the x we are already using here, so we can't take that as, that as an example. So suppose there, there is a number, say n, and uh, n can never be co-prime with p raised to the power x if the prime factorization of n contains p of course uh, because in that case their gcd will be at least p right so all of the multiple of p can never be co-prime with p raised to the power x that is why the total number of elements which are not co-prime with p raised to the power x are actually the number which are multiple of p and how many numbers are multiple of p from 1 to p raised to the power x easy see uh, if you want to calculate the total number of uh, mul uh, total number of element which are multiple of 3 up to 100 all you can do is divide 100 by 3 so there are 33 multiple of 3 right similarly if you want to know the total number of total number of multiple of p up to p raised to the power x you can easily calculate it by simply dividing p raised to power x with p so these many multiple of p would be there from 1 to p raised to power x all of the number 
कैन नेवर हैव जी सी डी वन विथ पी और पी रेस्ट पार एक्स सॉरी सो दे कैन नॉट बी को प्राइम विथ पी रेस्ट पार एक्स दिस मैनी नंबर कैन नॉट बी को प्राइम विथ पी रेस्ट पार एक्स सो इफ यू रिमूव दिस मैनी नंबर फ्रॉम पी रेस्ट पार एक्स द रिमेनिंग वुड बी द नंबर विच आर हैविंग जी सी डी वन और द नंबर विच आर को प्राइम विथ पी रेस्ट पार एक्स एंड द नंबर विच आर को प्राइम विथ पी रेस्ट पी रेस्ट टू पार एक्स आर एक्चुअली फाइव ऑफ पी रेस्ट पार एक्स सो फाइव ऑफ पी रेस्ट पार एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू दिस विच इज इफ यू रीअरेंज दिस एंड राइट इट डाउन दिस वुड बी p रेस टू पार एक्स माइनस वन इन टू पी माइनस वन सो फाइव ऑफ पी रेस टू पार एक्स वेर पी इज अ प्राइम नंबर एंड एक्स इज अ नॉन इज अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर फाइव ऑफ पी रेस टू पार एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू पी रेस टू पार एक्स माइनस वन इन टू पी माइनस वन सो दिस इज द वे वी कैलकुलेट ऑल एस्टूशन फंक्शन फॉर प्राइम रेस टू सम पावर एक्स now uh, the you will uh, rarely you will get any question which ask you to calculate uh, phi for p raised to power x where p is a prime number it is rarely going to happen so uh, in most of the problems we 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 will encounter in the computer programming most of the problem which require uh, would require us to calculate uh, uh, phi or all association function for a general number n so we somehow have to generalize the formula of phi that we have just studied for prime numbers in the next lecture we will see and explore one of the property of integer fun function which is one of the most important property of of an integer function that is multiplicative property phi function is actually multiplicative function using that property what we are going to do using that property and the formula that we just learned you combining these two property we are going to generalize the formula for calculating phi of any number n so in this lec uh, in, in this lecture we will stop only here for the next lecture we will generalize the approach and see how we can calculate phi of any number n in square root of n time so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you